Five months till winter. Yes, I can't wait. Gosh, it is hot outside. You need to put an end to the ultra breeze. It is so blazing hot. I just cannot stand it. Trusty Swiss Army knife in place. Minifigures on display. All right, let us begin. I hope everybody has a safe and happy 4th of July. And right now, we are going to be taking a look at these minifigures. This is the Minecraft Dungeon series based on the new Minecraft Dungeons video game, which my kids have actually played. Series 20, that I have been searching for for like three weeks now, I think. Ever since a couple of my viewers told me that they were out. I found these at Target. Target seems to be the Minecraft leader now. For some reason, they're getting some kind of precedence. Before it was Walmart. Walmart would always have them first. And now, Target has taken over. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. I've got all 13 characters. Let's get right into this. We are going to be seeing these characters right here. Okay. As always, these Minecraft minifigures have codes on the bottom. Letter A. Letter A is going to be, oh, this feels big. Absolute big. Oh, this might be that creature. Right, the creature. You've played the game already. You can explain. I'll explain it once you know which one it is. I think it's the black one on the bottom. It feels like a box. That looks cool. A cauldron? Is it like a, that's what I was gonna say, is it like a cauldron with goo in it? Yeah, it's, it's like this big cauldron, it's like a boss at the end of the swamp level. This cauldron's a complete nightmare to fight sometimes, especially if you're doing it on a high difficulty. Mm -hmm. Cause it spawns all these slimes around him, and one time, I was fighting the cauldron on a higher difficulty, and I don't know how this happened, but I was getting surrounded by some of his slimes, and for no reason, I got like launched into outer space. And then I fell down like 50 miles away from where the actual fight was, and I died. Oh, so you didn't defeat it? No, no, no. What, you, if you fall off the map, you lose, you, like, you respawn, but you lose some health. Uh huh. So, I did defeat it though. Oh, okay. So, this is a boss. Yeah, that's a boss. Like at the end, end of the swamp level. End level boss, okay. Cool. Letter B. And letter B is going to be B. a long nose with a book. This is like a long nose librarian. A long nose librarian. <laughs> yes, What's the official what name? What is the official name of this creature? It's the Enchanter. The Enchanter, you are correct. He's got yeah. a little cape. These guys are annoying. Their whole deal is that they don't really attack you, but they shoot these like beams of whatever it is mm -hmm. at other enemies, and it makes them stronger and just unbearable to fight. Okay. So kind of an obnoxious dude. Yeah, they're super annoying. Now we've got letter C. I think this is that that uh, giant guy. The giant red and gray guy? Yeah, this one's huge. The he redstone is golem? Redstone golem, correct. Does he make any noises? Uh, well, he punches the ground a whole lot. Does he go like... I think so. He's actually <laughs> a boss for... I can't remember what level it is. I think he's the boss of the of the redstone mines level, or maybe uh -huh. the forge. But his whole deal is that 
he spawns these flaming traps all over the place, and you can't really step on them because you take damage. And then he just walks at you and like punches you and stuff, but he has tons of health. Mm -hmm. And he appears as a boss first, but then in the later levels you find him as just a regular enemy. So there can be like two of them at once sometimes. So he's very powerful. Oh yeah, he's strong, but he drops good stuff sometimes. I like him. Big, bulky, looks powerful. Yeah, he's absolute big. Letter D is going to be the villager. Yes, the villager. Cool. He has a cool sword. That's not a villager. That's one of the playable characters. Says right there, isn't that? What does that say? Valerie. Oh, Valerie. Villager. <laughs> this is a villager. Comes with a mighty sword. I'm just walking around. Carrying my claymore. As <laughs> I'm just I do. the regular dude. <laughs> Valerie. Okay, so this is a girl. Sure. Right? Probably. Valerie. Yeah, I'm assuming this is a girl. Looks like a girl. Now that I look closely. With an awesome sword. Is she powerful? All the playable characters are the same. It doesn't yeah. matter who you're playing as, it's just what items you have. Letter E. Letter E is going to be somebody very small. Some kind of a cone head. Maybe it's the keys. Mm. No, it's not. Cone head? This has got to be the chase figure. Oh. This was letter E. <laughs> this is the bad guy? That's the final boss. <laughs> this is the final boss. He's like puny. <laughs> yeah, but in the end he... Okay, so this figure right <laughs> here... This is right the here, final boss? The whole story looks like a wolf. <laughs> that this guy was like banished from the village or whatever, so he like decided to destroy the universe or whatever. <laughs> but his whole deal is that at the end, or at the beginning of the game, he finds this like crystal that gives him all his powers. But at the end of the game, you have to fight him, and he's like shooting Garbo at you from his staff. And that's the last fight. This guy just, he like makes me laugh. He's like, first defeat this guy, and then once you get to the end, defeat this tiny little dude. Oh, hello, I'm a little wizard. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm powerful. <laughs> it sounds just like that. <laughs> this has got to be the pig. <laughs> that, that is a cool figure. <laughs> With his legs all moving. <laughs> the pigs are nice to find. That's something I thought was interesting, is that cow, there's like cows and sheep and whatever. Uh -huh. They're just walking around, not really doing anything. And you don't really get anything for destroying cows and sheep. But the only pigs in the game are these ones. And they're like, they only appear every once in a while. Mm -hmm. And they always have these chests on their back. And when you defeat them, they like explode into a million items. That's cool. I like him. <laughs> Look, he's like checking him out. Hi. Not scary villain guy. Oh, please. 
is I'm so terrifying. I'm a tiny little puny dude who has a little staff that looks like a popsicle. It's like Ferritor in uh, Fear Mortal me. Kombat. Or Master Blaster. Where this guy is just tiny, but he's like the whole ringleader of the operation. <laughs> Master Blaster. And then you've got this huge guy. <laughs> I will defeat you with my tiny popsicle, my little uh, jello cake pop. <laughs> yeah, let me <laughs> strike fear into you with this. Oh, please, you're pathetic. <laughs> Got the same voice. <laughs> let me go. Let me go deliver my package to somebody who will destroy you. I'll protect you <laughs> from the puny, non-threatening... <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really do anything, but then he summons all of his gigantic enemies. From the puny... I'll protect you from the puny baby wizard guy who <laughs> is not scary whatsoever. <laughs> Next is... G? Letter G. Guy with a shield. Oh, the Royal Guard. Are you right? Illager Royal Guard. Correct. Next is letter H. Ooh, this guy is cool. It's like a skeleton warlord. A skeleton warlord. That's the necromancer. What does he do? He's like the creator of cake pops. He is the creator of cake pops. The keys? Is it the keys? I think it might be the keys. The keys are just dudes that sit around and you go pick them up. Yeah, they're not enemies, but sometimes in levels there will be doors that you have to go get the keys to unlock. Okay. <laughs> when you pick up a key, it's like on your back and whatever, uh -huh. and you have to take it over to the door. <laughs> but if you get hit, or if you fall off a cliff or something, or if you do, basically if you take damage, then the key gets off your back and tries to run back to whatever room you found it in. <laughs> and usually when you pick up the keys, enemies will spawn around you to make it more difficult. But you have to go find the keys and pick them up and take them over to the doors. They're not really enemies, they're just mechanics. Cute little characters that run around. Yeah, well, mostly they just sit in a room <laughs> and are angry. I like those guys. <laughs> those are good ones. Next, we've got letter J. Skeleton. Letter J is the skeleton. Oh, wow. I like him. Very cool. <laughs> is he like one of the dudes that spawns from the necromancer guy? Or is he separate? I can't remember. I know the Necromancer spawns skeletons, and this particular kind of skeleton, I can't remember if it spawns from the Necromancer, but he has spears. I know they spawn in the, the end fight of the Desert Temple level, which is where you mm -hmm. first encounter the Necromancers. There's like a big gigantic boss. Letter K is going to be Mustache Man. Ron Swanson. Ron Swanson. <laughs> he looks like a. Um, he looks like a. What are they called? Blacksmith. Blacksmith. Yes. He looks like a blacksmith. Is that what? Is that actually what he is? It might be. I don't know the names of all the characters because you just choose one at the beginning, uh -huh. and then it doesn't really matter. Plus, most of the time you're wearing armor and you can't even see who it is you're playing as. Oh. <laughs> like you can see their face and whatever, but it, right. doesn't, it basically doesn't matter at all who you choose. Okay. Because it doesn't make any difference. Next, we have L. <laughs> the 
That's cool. Look at her hair. She's got like cool hair, like like uh, kind of like those anime characters where it like hangs down the side, and then you get the full hair in the back. But there's like these two strands that kind of hang down the side. So the last character is going to be Hex. And it's that, just the hunter from Diablo. Yeah, and that is going to be letter M. With a crossbow. <laughs> oh, she's like a, she's got a hood on. <laughs> Seriously, just flash a picture of the hunter from Diablo on screen, because it's basically that. The hunter from Diablo. Hunter from Diablo and Hex, one in the same character. <laughs> Which is funny, because Minecraft Dungeons is pretty much a more friendly version of Diablo, I guess. Right, because it's like you it's like a you play it from the same angle. Yeah. Yeah. And you're also in a dungeon trying to destroy creatures. Hmm. Hmm. I am Hunter from Diablo, or you can also call me Hex. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Pew from a crossbow. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter that what they're holding, because no matter who you choose, it all depends on what items you're able to find at the beginning of the game. Okay, so she could be holding a sword. Yeah, find a sword. Yeah. What is that? Here they are. The pig. And the mighty warrior, Valerie. Villager. Valley Val Valerie Villager? You originally called her Villager. Oh, yeah. So, villager, warrior, uh, Diablo, the Hex King, um, the Key Master, um, the Rock. The Rock. <laughs> Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Uh, Skeletor. Skeletor's dad. Puny... Puny Monkey King. <laughs> I'm telling you, it looks like Squidward. <laughs> Squidward. <laughs> his uh, his uh, mighty henchman. Um, this is Pink. And Ron Swanson. The long-nosed librarian. And the giant tub of goo. I like how they all had completely different names, and his was just the Mighty Henchman. That's basically what he is. Doesn't he look mighty? Skeletor, Squidward, Dwayne Johnson, and the Mighty Henchman. This is a really cool series. I like these guys. You haven't played the game yet. I know, but you guys have, and you say it's fun. It's awesome. And you say that... Uh, in your opinion, these characters are well matched to the characters in the game? Yeah, sure. Well, I can't really... I don't know about the human characters. There's like several more of them they could have done in the game. Overall, they chose a pretty good like selection of characters. I am very pleased with them. I like them. I haven't played the game yet, but I do like these characters. Mm -hmm. All very cool. And I think my favorites are the pig, because he's got movement in his legs to show that he's walking somewhere. <laughs> the red, what is it, redstone? The redstone golem. Redstone golem. Two skeleton guys, even if they're not that important or that memorable in the game. They're cool enemies. But I do only find them very level. cool looking. This puny dude is just funny. And I like this guy. And the guy with the mustache. And I would like him even more if he had a beard. Mm. Can you add beards? I think there's a, there might be some characters that have beards. If you liked it, like it. And I will see you guys in the next video.
Happy Independence Day! Peaking the audio. <laughs> bye bye. How can he say that without <laughs> opening his mouth? He's a wizard. He's a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry.